I think the single most important mistake that most of the diabetics make that can land themselves up in nephropathy or kidney disease is not checking their sugar levels regularly. So a strict glycemic control is very very important to prevent kidney disease. Uh, I would like to add one point here that not all diabetic patients develop kidney problems. So studies have suggested that only 40 to 60 percent of diabetics actually develops kidney problem and that too over a very long period of time. So very strict glycemic control is very very important and the most important factor that can prevent kidney problems. Other factors which may contribute a role is smoking, a diet which is low in fat and high in carbohydrate, a sedentary lifestyle not exercising regularly and not controlling your blood pressures and using over-the-counter painkillers. sugar level over a long period of time causes damage to the vessels. So these complications are known as microvascular which involves the small blood vessels and the macrovascular which involves the larger blood vessels. So ultimately over a period of time damage to these blood vessels, the blood supply ultimately damages the end organ which is known as end organ damage. This, in, this can involve any organ in the body and more so it involves the kidney, the heart, the eye, the nerves and the skin. Over a long period of time damage to these blood vessels can ultimately damage the proper functioning of the kidney. So over a period of time again with the damage to the kidney there is proteinuria and gradually the serum creatinine increases. So this is what is known as diabetic nephropathy. Likewise it can also affect your heart, it can also affect your eyes, it can also affect your nerves. So regular monitoring of the blood sugar levels and regular monitoring of the parameters for the end organ damage is important to prevent further complications. Nephropathy is defined as passing of protein in urine as well as increase in the serum creatinine level. So this signifies that there has been damage to the kidney because of the diabetes. There can be other causes of proteinuria which needs to be ruled out even in patients of diabetes. So classically by definition if you are stamped labeled as diabetic nephropathy you should be having proteinuria in your urine and should be having a high creatinine level along with the cause which is diabetes. Coming to the second question, yes, it affects the sexual health because of many factors, multifactorial effect. Diabetes per se, as I said, can involve the blood vessels and involvement of the blood vessel can hamper the sexual function. Other causes which are important here again are hypertension, uh, smoking and a sedentary lifestyle again. So an uh, increase in the blood sugar level uh, beyond a certain point which is known as renal threshold. So when your blood sugar level increases above 180, it starts passing out in the urine. So as soon as it passes out in the urine, it drags the fluid along with it. So this causes dehydration, this causes polyuria which is known as increased frequency. So the moment the urine contains sugar, it is driving out the water along with it, it causes increased urination. And since you are passing good amount of urine, increased amount of urine, it naturally causes more thirst. So these two are the classical symptoms of the initial diagnosis of diabetes. Polyuria and polydipsia, so increased frequency of urination and increased thirst. Uh, there is no symptoms of kidney disease per se initially even if there are symptoms that appears very very late. So the general recommendation is to get yourself checked for kidney problem. There is no clinical sign, no clinical symptoms for kidney problem initially. So just two simple tests, a urine routine examination and a serum creatinine test would signify if you have any kidney problem or not. So when should you get tested is important. So if you are diabetic, if you are hypertensive, if you have a family history of kidney problems, if you have had a stone surgery in recent past or remote past, if you are smoking, if you are using painkillers for a very long period of time, you should get yourself checked at least when you are above 40. So a 3 monthly or 6 monthly serum creatinine and urine routine examination will check if you are developing kidney problems or not. So early diagnosis and detection is the 
key to treatment, to successful treatment of kidney problems.